Hey there, uh, I only have a little bit of time today and I really wanted to cut some gears and test out like the sizing and stuff for this orrery that I'm designing. If you don't know what an orrery is, it's like a celestial model. You have stuff, the planets that orbit the sun, neat stuff. Um, testing out settings on gears, been playing with it a little bit. I really wanted to do a live stream, but out of my shop I get no signal, my Wi-Fi is screwy, so... Um, I have to go through a whole process of running Cat5 out here, and it's a mess. But I'm not gonna do all that. I'm just gonna record some quick stuff on my cell phone and upload that because people like to watch the CNC router make gears, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's do that. Okay, bye. This is actually a uh, an arm that holds all the gears on it. If I uh, show them here, boop, boop, boop. Gears, 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 gears. Okay, so we need that arm to uh, hold the gears. So let's cut that arm real quick out of some scrap. Here it is in Mach 3. There's the scrap. Let's do it. Uh, turn down your volume because I'm not going to edit the sound on this. So fair warning, turn down your volume right now. Actually, I need two of those arms. One for the bottom, one for the top. Let's cut another. Now, I know somebody is going to uh, comment because they saw me just now vacuuming all that stuff up, but they're gonna be like, why don't you have dust collection? I have dust collection, that's what I was vacuuming with. There's my boot right there, my thingy that helps all the dust collection. I took it off uh, because, you know, I love you and I want you to have a good time. And that way you can see it on the video. So, I've got it. It's right there. I'm not using it, so you, you can see it. But, you've probably already commented, so. Oh well. Alright. Perfect. A little bit snug. That's exactly what I want. Didn't quite cut deep enough. Still could have gone another, you know, couple thou. Oh well. Don't care. Just screwing around right now. I have a whole pile of little gears. I don't need that many, but I do need some spacers, and so they might as well be gears. Uh, anyway, I ran into a really weird problem. Maybe somebody out there can help me with this. Fusion 360, gonna make a bigger pretty gear, but something weird happens. Those bigger holes there, it says they're too small to mill, but it'll small the miller. This it'll mill the smaller ones. It won't mill the bigger ones, because it says they're too small. Same in mill, same settings. No idea. Oh well, just gonna skip them because I really don't care right now. Let's do it. It's gonna be bigger. This one.
And now for the moment of truth. We've got the whole reason this video exists. What I'm doing in the shop today is testing to see if my spacing and gear tooth shapes and ratios and stuff are going to work. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just seeing if it's going to function. It can be tight, it can be ugly. I just want to know if my workflow is going to work because my workflow is a mess. So, look at that. Uh, oh, it's tight, so tight, right there. Looks like I need to round off these corners a tiny bit, but once I do that, it's gonna work just fine. Yay, that makes me happy. That makes me so happy. So now I can refine this design. Like I didn't, I didn't wanna go too far uh, with this design yet because I didn't know if any of this was gonna work. Um, now that I know it's going to work, I can refine the design to make everything prettier and uh, maybe mesh a little bit more smoothly. Awesome. So cool. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.